losses per se. He'll have to come back and run all these big races again next year because his name's going to be on the team. Every one of them. You've got to get him back. That'll happen. So we want to try again.
did not see Glendening sitting there. Wow, just flat drove right over the front end of the 33 car. And we'll go to we've got a replay, we'll check that out. I got it. And that tears up Glendening's car. Well, he might have stayed unscathed, but not. Ray Cox in his first open motor race. He wasn't going fast, it was just slick. I think I wasn't going fast. The original guy. I think he'd be alright, he's just a big guy, it's hard for him to get out of the car. So. I was looking for a brother with one shot. I mean, I figure when they, they check the car and turn around and left to check Ray the other Cox, the okay. Kellogg, Iowa driver. Driver is okay, fan. Driver is okay. His first ever open motor race has been running modified for the last about 20 years or so. Iowa State Fairgrounds, Des Moines, also some of the other tracks around the area. Elden, Iowa. In a seat, a Rayburn car, and you can see back home and up on our video board here at Knoxville, Iowa. Rick Schwally there directing the uh, landing. I guess he's still in it. He's supposed to stay in it. Is it a nasty one? He was going slow. It wasn't too bad. Most of this is going to be the very first time, and I've been a long time dreaming for him to run here. And you just hate to see it in like that, Tony B. Yeah, that's just a bad deal on both parts. Says, uh, you see the safety crew standing underneath the car trying to roll it, jet see back down onto all fours. <laughs> so, for those of you looking online, watching at Dirt on Dirt, you see the Integra Shocks view of what's left of Greg Cox, car number 62, sitting in the middle of turns one and two. Here's a look, James, as uh, the uh, FK Rod is replay. There you see the 33 of Glendening spinning. He comes to a stop. Here comes Greg Cox. And that is how we ended up in this position. Well, the track's slick enough to couldn't turn. Take a look there at the FK Rod Ends replay and the safety crew running out onto the racetrack. And now being told Greg Cox is out of the car. Over in one and two. One of the B's, I think. They were going to do it. One of the multiple B's instead of A, B, C, and the B. I think. I don't think they do that so Saturday. I think they said they Great Cox, you put down the speedy dry on the racetrack, and you've got all kinds of oil and water and everything else down there. We'll see if Ben can get a word with Great Cox here shortly. Great makes it back to the pit area. Got a straight piece left, James, as we look here. Hey, Bill, the shock screen. See the crew there picking up the oil dry off the racetrack. Blue is all over the middle of turn one and two. So it'll be just a second here while we clean up the incident over in the middle of the racetrack. As Ben Shelton making his way down there, Derek Kessinger is down there as well. And when they bring out the rollback, you know, that's not good. And we'll see as we'll go down to Ben Shelton with Greg Cox, Ben. Well, we're going to check on Greg Cox. The top of turns one and two. And Greg, not the way you wanted your Knoxville debut to go. Are you okay? That's the important thing. Oh, uh, we'll some bruises here and there. So. Such a fast racetrack. He came into the corner. It was just one of those deals. But once you saw it, you couldn't slow down. I couldn't get away from the ball. I know you wanted to have a big night tonight, but this isn't what you had in mind. Absolutely not. It's been a struggle from the get-go. Bad night for Greg Cox. The good news is the driver is okay up in turns one and two. Thank you, Ben. 